Shalom, uh, back again, part two. Um, life after death, I'll probably call it. Reincarnation, and you know, you always return, you always return back to the Lord. As I just <coughs> shown through the scriptures, through the spirit of Yahweh Shimshai, you know. Yeah, but yeah, the apostles and elders, they've been teaching us for years, for years. So I learned from them. First and foremost. But yeah. Exodus 20 and verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. The, the main point is at the end of the verse, but might as well go into it. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. What's that? Other gods. You're not supposed to have other gods. You're not supposed to have devotion to any other uh, object or entity. Yeah, You've got people worshiping statues. That's off. People worshiping materials. That's off. People worshiping animals. That's off. People worshiping their, themselves. That's off. People worshiping women, man. Women worshippers. That's off. The only person, an Israelite which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, are all to worship, yeah, is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, the God of Israel, who's Yahweh, and His Son, who came to die for our sins, and only our sins, the nation of Israel, whose name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Christ, who's a, who's a Hebrew, from the tribe of Judah, and will be considered as a so-called black man today, Pursuant to the scriptures of, of Revelations 1.13, just to quote a few. Yeah, so thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord, Yahweh thy God, I am a jealous God. Visiting, yeah, yeah the most high gets jealous. A lot of people, I believe it was, uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe, I think it was Oprah. I remember a long time ago I made a statement. I think she was speaking to someone that believes in God. And she was like, I don't understand. I can't believe in a God that can get jealous or something like that. I believe it was Oprah or someone like that. I remember a long time ago. But it was, it was a celebrity, I believe a black woman, saying that, how can I believe, it, be, believe or have faith in something that has emotions like me? That's the most stupidest thing you can ever say. First of all, the Lord created you to have emotions. Why? Because you're, you are basically a remake or uh, a lesser version of the Most High. The scripture says you are made in His image and likeness. Yeah? So you're going to have a similar spirit, you're going to have a similar characteristic, you're going to have similar emotions. You have emotions because the Most High has emotions. And that's the beauty of it. He didn't make us like fucking emotionless robots like like what Esau the so-called white man makes yeah we are robots really and truly because everybody is designed to to fulfill a purpose that the most high has set in their in their hearts but he's given every nation different flavors and characteristics and what people might say stereotypes different destinies different purposes different characters which is beautiful a beautiful balance but yeah yeah the most high is jealous why only concerning israel when israel goes off starts following other gods yeah the lord gets mad he gets jealous just like if a man has a woman that woman is supposed to be dedicated to that man worshiping that man calling him lord doing everything for him being obedient sub Totally in subjection, pleasing him, giving him sex, giving him all the goods, bringing in the money to him, or whatever the case is, very obedient. That's what we have to be to the Most High Yahweh Shemshai. And when that man realizes that woman has been stepping out, or what the world calls cheating, which is adultery according to the Bible, starts seeing other, other men, that woman starts seeing other men, flirting with other men. Easily, easily impressed by other men, spending time 
and getting to know other men, that's going to put a spirit of jealousy in you, which is righteous jealousy. So it's the same thing with the Most High. When you're worshipping other gods, you're not spending time with the Most High, not being diligent, not staying focused. The Lord will get je jealous, man, and He will have to chasten you. And that chastening is to, to get you back on track. And that's why we've got to repent and, ac and acknowledge that you ain't, sh you ain't shit because your flesh is weak and it's just proof that Every time you sin, you need you need the, you need Yahweh Shai, man, which is the Son. That's why He came to die for us. But obviously, practice the righteous acts, keep doing the laws and commandments to the best of your ability, and have faith. But then the main topic, Slakya, is here: Visit, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So listen to that carefully. Now you wanted to know where where do people go in the afterlife? I showed you in the other video, but listen to this. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So after every three, three or four generations, I believe it's about 25, 30 years, it's a generation. Yeah. Um, what happens? The spirits get recycled and after a certain amount of generations, as it says here, three or fourth, that, that person comes back and the Lord visits their iniquity. See, you, you come back as, as a child and you, you, you're reborn, you start again. As it says, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Why upon the children? Because the children were once the fathers. They're just being recycled. Reincarnation, regeneration. See? Which uh, puts uh, the hell doctrine of everlasting fire in a different spiritual place. To a null, null and void. It's not in the scriptures. Visiting the iniquity. So the Lord, Lord will will punish the, the person. That's why you have people coming back, born deaf, born blind, born with ailments. Even us now, the nation of Israel, because we've all we've all have sinned, and that's what got us into captivity. One way or another, you, you we've all sinned in our past lives, and that's why we're in the predicament that we're in now, suffering, put to a test, and and given the opportunity through. Uh, the father sending his son to, to repent and for the gospel to be preached all around so the end can come and the Lord can come and the nation of Israel can raise up and rule with our our king and saviour Yahweh Shai but there you have it visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so every generation Every generation, spirit is recycled. And most of the time, people play the same roles. Yeah. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Yeah. So that's really it, man. And, and if you think about it, that is the hell right there. When the Lord is visiting the iniquity of you, that's the hell. He didn't say he's going to visit the iniquity of you in hell or in a different location. No. How do you know it's going to be earth? Because it said visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. 
Now the heavenly in the heavenly heavenly realm, the scripture says no one's given to marry marriage, yeah, right? The angels don't marry, so therefore you can't have children there. So where's the place that you have children? Where is the place where people are born? Earth. So earth is the judgment place. You go, you die, you return to the dust. The breath that the Lord gave you, just like an Ad, what he did to Adam, it leaves your body. Your body gets cold, the heat disappears. The spirit is taken back to the, the Most High. The scripture says he's the father of spirits. As we read before, he generates it. He's the originator of it. It goes back to him. The angels are there, the, the, which are witnesses of what you did in which era of your life. There with the Lord, the Lord will set up uh, the judgment. And when it's your time to come back and to be born on earth again, the Lord will put you back on earth. That's why it says, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And show mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So with that, hope you've been edified. Shalom.